Well, all eyes on the Gulf Coast, but around here things are extremely quiet. Lots of blue sky overhead. In fact, a beautiful morning outside. Probably needed a jacket at least to start and may need it even this afternoon. Continuing to see a lot of clear sky overhead. The breeze is out of the north and west, sustained anywhere from about 5 to nearly 10 miles per hour. Combined with the very dry air that we have in place, relative humidity is going to be below 30% this afternoon. And of course, all of the dry vegetation outside. We've got a lot of areas that could use some rain. It's not a great time to be doing any type of burning, uh, burning leaves, burning brush right now, really hold off at least for the next couple of days until the relative humidity starts to come back up. A lot of beautiful blue sky though overhead this morning. Uh, live views from Benton, Mount Vernon, Sparta and Carbondale, hardly a cloud in the sky right now. We'll track a few high thin clouds around here later on this afternoon, but otherwise keeping the fairly quiet weather in place. 65 currently in Mount Vernon. We've got 66 in McLeansboro, Ridgeway in Gallatin County. Good morning. 65 degrees there. Carbondale at 70. Vienna meanwhile at 68. Farther southward across uh, western Kentucky, we've got temperatures starting to warm up into the lower 70s. Benton, Kentucky at 70. Mayfield at 70 and Clinton, Kentucky at 71. 73 currently in New Madrid. 68 though in Fredericktown, Missouri. All the cooler air spills southward and lots of quiet weather. High pressure built in out across the plains. It's going to keep things pretty quiet and we've got a stalled boundary right across the uh, Florida coastline that is keeping a lot of the tropical moisture associated with Hurricane Ian well to our south and east. So expecting very little impacts from that tropical system uh, this afternoon. We'll continue to warm up, likely seeing temperatures top off into the lower 70s across southern Illinois, some upper 70s into the Missouri boot heel in western Kentucky. And then tonight, once the sun goes down, those winds start to relax relax just a bit and temperatures are really going to fall quickly. 9 p.m. We're already back into the low to mid 50s and check this out. We go overnight and drop back into the upper 30s. Pretty much widespread across southern Illinois tomorrow morning, waking up in the mid to even upper 30s. Not anticipating any frost, but it is some of the coldest air we've had around here dating all the way back to the spring. Tomorrow afternoon, even cooler than today. North northeast Wednesday with this maybe a couple clouds trying to move in late in the day from the east, but uh, otherwise temperatures only into the mid 60s. That's 10 degrees or so below average. Quite a flip flop from last week when we had temperatures 20 degrees above average. 70 on Thursday, starting to warm up gradually towards the end of the week and uh, first part of the weekend. 74 on Friday, about 76 on Saturday. And if you were hoping for some wet weather, this is the projection next 10 days keeping our region dry. Six to 10 day rainfall outlook. There it is. All of the drier than average conditions. So not anticipating any real wet weather, really any weather concerns through the rest of this week. A lot of sunshine through the rest of this week and through Friday. The one thing we may see from Hurricane Ian is just a few added clouds in here for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures continuing to warm back up. We start to climb uh, close to average by the end of the weekend. Highs in the upper 70s by Sunday and Monday. Have you turned on the heat yet, guys? You know I, I was tempted to, but I resisted. <laughs> so I had to turn my seat warmers on in my car this morning oh, get nice spoiled? and toasty on my way here. So <laughs> I'll be turning it on, I have a feeling, tomorrow morning. Yeah. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick.